When it was first released, everybody wanted the War of the Realms omnibus, but now that we've got the second volume of Jason Aaron's run coming out, do you need both? We're both. Hey guys, it's me Marcus, I get a mad dog, and we're back with another video. Now, I've done a few of these double dipper skips in the past, and they always seem to come to the same conclusion, that 9 times out of 10, it's always better to go for the story-based omnibus rather than the event one. But this situation's quite unique, because the War of the Realms omnibus was announced way before we ever knew that Jason Aaron's Thor run was going to get the same treatment, so a lot of people picked this up because we weren't sure if the main event was going to be included in the Jason Aaron books. And if you're in that situation, you might be wondering, is it better to sell this? Is it better to find a different way to collect the Jason Aaron series? Or just how much double dipping is it going to be if you buy both? And more so, is this still part of this story that will be missing even if you buy all of these books? First up, we're going to be looking at the contents of Thor by Jason Aaron Volume 2. This comes in with quite a staggering cover price of $150. And unless it gets pushed back further, it's currently due for release on the 3rd of October 2023. And this neatly wraps up Jason Aaron's time with the Odin Son because it collects the Mighty Thor issues 13 to 23. And it also collects issues 700 to 706 after it's renumbered. Which, I get why they go back to to the legacy numbering every now and then, but when you look at a solicitation, it just looks messy. It also collects the Unworthy Thor issues 1 to 5, the one shot issue with Generations, the Unworthy Thor, and the Mighty Thor, another one shot, the Mighty Thor at the Gates of Valhalla, and I don't know about anybody else, but from the title, that just sounds like a travel guide. It also collects issues 1 to 16 of the 2018 Thor series, which also makes me wonder why they bothered renumbering this in the first place. And probably most importantly for this video, it collects War of the Realms issues 1 to 6, along with the four issues of King Thor that Jason Aaron did to conclude the series. So already that sounded like a pretty whammy boy, not whammy enough to justify a $150 cover price, but still. But still, on the 14th of October 2020, Marvel released the War of the Realms omnibus at a cover price of $125. And this also is a very whammy boy. And I'm not going to mention every single issue that's in this book because I don't think that people would watch for that long, but the main ones to consider is that it's got War of the Realms issues 1 to 6 and issues 8 to 16 of the 2018 Thor series. Now, War of the Realms was one of those events that decided to pretty much include every single Marvel title that was ongoing at the time, so I believe there's well over 60 issues that are included in this book. But that means that already the double dipping that we've got going on between the War of the Realms Omnibus and the Thor by Jason Aaron Omnibus Volume 2 is 15 issues. So it's pretty much a quarter of this book and over 30% of Volume 2. That already doesn't sit too well with me, but what we've got to remember is that this book was released during the height of the FOMO pandemic crisis, when pretty much every book that was released would go out of print within an hour. In we didn't realise at the time what other books would be released. And the reason why I'm bringing it up is because if you've already got this omnibus, it might be double dipping with other books that are already in your collection. So issues 43 to 46 of The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl were also a tie-in for War of the Realms, and it should be a surprise to nobody that those issues are also contained in The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl omnibus. Captain Marvel issues 6 to 7 are included in Captain Marvel by Kelly Thompson Volume 1, Venom issues 13 to 15 are included in the Ven omnibus by Donny Cates, and if I'm being honest, these issues were entirely skippable, it somehow failed at the only two things it needed to do because it really didn't feel like a good tie-in for War of the Realms, but it wasn't even written by Donny Cates and didn't really add much to his run either. Like how did you manage to not do at least one of those? And also Tony Stark Iron Man issues 12 to 13 are included in the Iron Man omnibus by Dan Slott. So if you're one of those people who pretty much picks up every omnibus that's coming out and you've already got all of those books that I just mentioned, along with the War of the Realms book and you're also planning on picking up Thor by Jason Aaron Volume 2, then you'll be double dipping on 26 issues. That's just shy of half of the entirety of this omnibus. And that's before any further omnibuses are even announced because we don't know what's going to be coming out over the next few years. Because just looking at this, you've also got issues 18 to 20 of the 2018 Avengers series, and I can at some point see them releasing an Avengers by Jason Aaron omnibus. You've also got issues 7 to 8 of the 2019 Superior Spider-Man series. We just had a volume 1 of the original Dan Slot run, which leads me to believe that they'd also print an omnibus for this. And you've also got issue 10 of Dan Slot's Fantastic Four run. So there is a lot of other books there that I can eventually see getting printed in Omnibus, which would mean that you're even further double dipping with this book. And if any of those books that I've theorised do get officially announced, or you just want to treat yourself to any of the other books that I've mentioned in this video, why not get them for a little bit less with the discount codes that we've got with the channel sponsor, Organic Price Books. They've got great packaging, fast shipping, and amazing customer services. And if you use code woof woof, you'll get $2 off your order. And if you're ordering three or more books and you want them to be delivered together, make sure you use 
use code woof woof ship it together for five percent off your entire order don't worry you can just copy and paste them from the description down below and you can use these codes as many times as you like but there was something else that i found quite interesting whilst i was researching this and that's that there's part of the asgardian world that's been written by jason aaron that's not included in any of these books so in the same way as what i did for the green lantern core omnibus video i thought i'd take a look at some of the issues that are still missing and to be fair i was trying to sound dramatic there but it is mostly just jane foster valkyrie issues one to ten mighty valkyries issues one to five and king in black return of the valkyries issues one to four but take all of them with a pinch of salt because aaron is only listed as co-writing them and it doesn't massively impact his thor series but i do find it a bit weird that they're still not included but it is still at least collected in spirit and i know there's a complete collection of at least the first part of that run so if you did feel like you were missing out you could still pick that up and also without looking at the solicitation i'm pretty much guaranteeing that king and black return of the valkyries issues one to four is gonna be included in the king and black omnibus but already throughout this video i don't think i've done a good job of hiding the fact that you don't really need the war of the realms omnibus but if you're somebody who picked this up when it was first released and you're determined to still have the rest of this run but you don't want to double dip with the omnibuses then to match what you would get from picking up the thor by jason aaron volume 2 omnibus you would still need to get mighty thor issues 13 to 23 and also issues 700 to 706 unworthy thor issues 1 to 5 the one shots of generations the unworthy thor and the mighty thor and also mighty thor at the gates of valhalla issues 1 to 7 of the 2018 thor series and also king thor issues 1 to 4 so let's be honest that would be 34 issues that you'd still need to hunt down and at this point it would just be easier to pick up the volume 2 but if you're committed to not going down that route then i'd definitely recommend getting volumes 3 to 5 of the thor by jason aaron complete collections this would give you pretty much everything that i mentioned there without massively double dipping with the war of the realms book and just a personal suggestion if you're not really a massive fan of these omnibuses then the complete collections would be a good route to go down i know volume 1 went out of print for a bit of time but it does look like it's stealthily come back in stock but with just these five volumes and a trade paperback of war of the realms you will pretty much have everything that's included within the two omnibuses but that brings me to the main question of this video what is the best option it's picking up the two omnibuses of thor by jason aaron that's my honest recommendation i know as a youtube channel i'm pretty much expected to recommend that you pick up every single big book that you can buy but if you don't already have the war of the realms omnibus i don't think that you really need to be double dipping this isn't one of those events that's on a level like house of m or flashpoint or even civil war in the sense that a lot of the tie-ins for war of the realms don't add a lot to the overall experience a massive amount of this book is completely skippable and also included in a lot of other omnibuses i might get some backlash for saying this but if you haven't already picked up this book then you're pretty much wasting your money if you're already going to get the thor by jason aaron omnibuses and at the end of the day i'd rather be honest and hopefully save you guys some money and a similar way that i can do that is that if you're in the eu and you want free shipping and also free gifts with every order i definitely recommend checking out comics bugle and in the spirit of saving money if you use code woof woof you'll get three percent off all items that aren't already included in a sale and you can already order thor by jason aaron volume 2 from there which i definitely recommend doing because it's much better than going into this event book but that leaves people that do already own this book and you're not sure what to do with it you like myself are in a bit of an unfortunate situation and my honest best recommendation would be to sell this off if you still can but you might have to keep it in your collection for a while the main bits of this book that you need are already going to be included in these books so it will just be pretty much taking up space on your shelf there might be somebody out there that does want a cheap copy of this so that they can get the full experience but unfortunately like most things in life sometimes you win them and sometimes you lose them and unfortunately if you've already got this book it looks like you're in a bit of a loose situation so yeah to summarize if you've got none of these books i'd recommend getting the two thor by jason aaron omnibuses if you've already got volume one of the jason aaron run i'd just recommend getting volume two and if you've got the war of the realms omnibus i'd recommend trying to get rid of it as quickly as possible and just picking up the thor by jason aaron omnibuses but that's the video and i just hope it's helped at least one person but even though the lines seem a lot more clearer now when these event omnibuses do come out i will still be doing a double dipper skip on the batman hush omnibus because trust me that book double dips with a lot but until next time just make sure that you stay safe and stay mad all you dogs we're both see you at the next video